Everything you need to know about Proximus Caesar, the next villain in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. In the upcoming movie, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, we will meet a new and enigmatic villain, Proximus Caesar. This character not only promises to be a cruel and conquering antagonist, but he will also be the very basis for understanding the human situation in this universe. But who actually is Proximus Caesar? What are his true motivations? Will he be a villain smarter than Dr. Zayas and crueler than Koba? In this video, we will be talking about everything we know so far about this new villain. One that could be much smarter than Dr. Zayas and more cruel than Koba. Today we're going to talk about Proximus Caesar. And for more videos from the Planet of the Apes universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. The first thing we should know about Proximus Caesar is that he is a king who has created a new empire. In the previous movies, the apes were not so organized, but in this movie, everything points to the fact that Proximus Caesar, after studying the history of mankind, has decided to create his own city similar to Rome, an empire where he is the dictator. We know that Proximus Caesar is the most intelligent ape of all, and that he has studied humanity all his life, to the point that he is so familiar with history and scientific theories such as evolution. But what is the purpose of this ape, and why is he so dangerous? To understand what the purpose of Proximus Caesar is in this story, we must first take into account the huge time jump represented in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Three hundred years have passed since Caesar's era, a period in which ape society has evolved and changed drastically. And it is in this modern era that Proximus Caesar appears. This character is described as a leader who has risen to the top by any means necessary. This hints that this villain is an ambitious and possibly ruthless one, willing to do whatever it takes to maintain his power and ensure the evolution of the apes. Perhaps he started out as a historian ape or an inventor and gradually began to turn his tribe into something more. He started to create an empire. But what really drives him? One theory suggests that Caesar's teachings have become some sort of religion for the apes in the intervening centuries. Proximus, by taking Caesar's name, presents himself as a messianic figure destined to lead the apes into a glorious future. But his interpretation of these teachings seems to be distorted, tailored to justify his own ambition. It has been rumored that Proximus Caesar is seeking ancient human technology to conquer the planet. One that could be electricity, or even nuclear power. A topic we talked about in previous videos. Proximus Caesar might need it, because he knows that humans are responsible for this technology, and Proximus wishes to acquire it. But he is simultaneously afraid of humans, and wants to gain the upper hand over them. This is where the comparison with other characters from the past becomes interesting. Caesar, the protagonist of the modern trilogy, fought for the freedom and dignity of apes, seeking peaceful coexistence with humans. Something that is mentioned in the trailer, a time when humans and apes coexisted. On the other hand, Koba was consumed by hatred towards humanity due to the abuses he suffered since he was a child, being subjected to experiments in laboratories it seems that Proximus Caesar's way of thinking is similar to Koba's and not to Caesar's because he is driven by a deep hatred for humans. But perhaps Proximus Caesar's hatred towards mankind does not stem from abuse but from fear since Proximus Caesar is the ape who has studied humans the most and fears what they could become if the apes do not conquer the world first. Over the centuries, Proximus may have studied human history, coming to the conclusion that humanity is inherently destructive. His obsession with artifacts from the past may be an attempt to uncover the secrets of human success, but also their weaknesses. By mastering this knowledge, 
he may believe he is equipping the apes to subjugate humanity once and for all. This anti-human attitude will be pitted against Noah's compassionate attitude towards humans. Noah appears to follow Caesar's path while Proximus Caesar follows Koba's path. But why might Proximus Caesar be smarter than Dr. Zaius and crueler than Koba? Unlike Dr. Zaius, an iconic character from the original Planet of the Apes movies, Proximus Caesar doesn't just blindly follow the rules and traditions of his society. Instead, he has spent countless years meticulously studying humans and their history, seeking to decipher the secrets to their success and perhaps more importantly their weaknesses. This in-depth knowledge, combined with his access to the enigmatic Forbidden Zone, gives Proximus a significant advantage over his predecessors. With human technology at his fingertips, Proximus could be in a position to carry out far more ambitious and potentially devastating plans than any previous ape leader. The arrival of this advanced technology, however, also brings with it an alarming risk, the loss of empathy and compassion. As Proximus begins to use artifacts such as the dreaded electric batons to subjugate and control his own people, the odds increase that he will become far more ruthless than Koba. While Koba rebelled primarily to fight human oppression, Proximus's motivations seem to be driven by personal power. A selfish quest, fueled by forbidden knowledge and overwhelming technology, could lead him down a much darker and destructive path, not only for humans, but also for his own species. Proximus could become the destroyer of his own civilization. We cannot conclude this video without talking about one of the theories of Proximus Caesar, and it is that Proximus Caesar is actually a descendant of Caesar, and that in this case the descendant of the hero becomes the villain, and it is in the hands of any ape. The power to dethrone one of the ancestors of the legendary leader, to stop him from trying to create a world based on human technology and human suppression. Proximus Caesar will undoubtedly be a character that will give much to talk about, and we hope to know more about his story during this film and those to come, as it is believed that we will have a trilogy. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Do you think that Proximus Caesar will be a smarter villain than Dr. Zaius and more cruel than Koba? And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Oasis Geek.